Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show a tutorial related to the chemistry update inside the Minecraft Education Edition. So you guys can see over here I have a periodic table completed over here, which includes nearly all the elements inside the periodic table. So yeah, let's get started with our video now. So yep, okay, I, I won't be showing you guys on this world over here, so I'll just build a brand new world to show you guys what can just happen. What can happen, so yeah, I'll just create a new one here. I'll just create a flat one, creative, and always stay. And let's, now let's just create it. So yeah, we have our flat world completed over here. So firstly, you guys can see over here inside the... Actually... You guys can see over here in the inside our, inside our inventory bar, we can see these new type of things, blocks that are added into our education edition, and yeah, it looks pretty cool, this type of formation. I actually really like it. So we have like new things that the teachers like to teach equipment as well as student equipment such as borders and loud and loud. We wouldn't be talking about these things today. Today we are mainly gonna talk about the chemistry, like the most mainly things related to the chemistry update. So yep, let's come over here. We can see we there's hydrogen and helium, lithium, etc. Things related to the periodic table that yeah I remember I just built this before. So the first today I'm, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually the chemistry equipment, which is the main thing that we're going to use to learn from today. So I'll just get everything ready for you guys right now. So here's the element constructor, the compound creator, lab table, and so it's the material reducer. So actually the main thing for this chemistry update is actually the element constructors. So you can construct different elements to create compounds and like constructing them to make different type of things inside the products inside the Minecraft series. So yes, let's go to the element constructor. I'll just put a proton and an electron. Remember, always the electron always equals as the amount of proton when creating a new element. Yeah, so we can see this hydrogen over here we created. And you can create as much as you want over here and material list, so you can create as much as you want. And I'll just get an oxygen over here. So what you can read right here is H2O. So may not I think most I believe everybody who's watching this will understand what is H2O, and H2O is actually water, and there's the liquid form of it, of H2O. So, it will be pretty boring to see just, oh yeah, I already know what is H2O. So here I'm going to show you guys what else that you can create inside this world. So yeah, let's come over here, just give me some time. Okay, I have it ready now. Uh... Okay, I got ready. So now let's see. We uh, what we want over here is actually we're gonna the thing that we're gonna create over here is called sodium acetate, which is actually to carbon like to, like C two H two Na and O two. So C two is actually carbon. So yeah, we need six elect six proton electrons and so as six neutrons for this one or five neutrons. I'll just put oxygen away now. So we need two carbon over here. What else do we need is hydrogen. We need free hydrogen. We have it ready over here. And so as the sodium. Sodium we need um, 11 proton and electrons. And I'll just expect yeah, 11 neutrons. And we just need one sodium here, and the last one that we want is oxygen. We need two oxygens, so yeah, I need a bit more. Oh yeah, see why I can't see it. Two oxygens over here, and now we can actually create it over here. When you're putting onto the compound creator, it doesn't matter wherever you put it, it just... Yeah, just creates it. So we are, what we have over here is c 2 h 3 na and O2, which is sodium acetate. So we already have all the sodium acetate, we can come to the lab table and combine all of them together. Yep, and you can see there's a pretty nice animation that we have over here. It looks pretty nice. So now let's combine it together. 
So what we're gonna have over here is called a thing. It's a thing called ice bomb. So I'll just show you guys what can you use what can an ice bomb do. Okay, everything is made well, so when we throw an ice bomb onto this water, it turns to water into ice. Yeah, and this type of ice would melt with using the ice bomb with some kind of chemical reaction. So yeah, it will be, that's pretty nice. So it will be pretty boring just to see what is ice bomb, so I'm going to show you guys how to make other things inside, like not even on the lab table, but on, even on crafting table, even brewing stands. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started with other, other things now. So I'll just keep all of these from all of these away. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the the material reducer over here. So I'll just show you guys. Actually, before I even start, I should actually get two oxygen. Oh yeah, I already have two oxygen. So. Okay, that's great. Now we have water. If you put water onto the material reducer, it turns back to H2O. So yeah, it can reduce the materials to tell what is made water made out of, which can actually teach other people not only like building them, but like building what you want. And even things that can happen in a natural form, such as sand over here that we can put onto the material reducer. There will be 33 silicon and 67 oxygen inside the sand, inside the sand. Which is actually pretty nice to know about. So now we're gonna. What we're gonna need is actually to use these type of elements to maybe even fill things up to make things. And I believe many of you, many of you guys should know that helium actually makes you fly. So yeah, I'm, firstly, what I'm gonna do over here is actually to to craft helium. So there will be two electron. And yep, helium over here. This is gonna be some time. I just need to. Okay. But other than helium over here, we need a thing called latex. And latex is actually made of, of just give me some time, I just need to refer it. It's made out of carbon and hydrogen. So uh, carbon, we already know, which is the six protons and six electrons. And yep, carbon ready. We just need, we need actually five carbons for this one. And so as hydrogen, we need eight of them. So we come to the compound creator, and we can see this latex. So C five H eight, H eight. So we need six latex for this equipment over here that we want. What else do we need is actually yeah, we need to have helium that I already created over here. So we have a crafting table grid over here that we want, and now we. You need a lid for this type of thing, and I guess you guys already know what gonna, we are going to create, which is going to be a balloon, surprisingly. So you can create whatever color that you want. Bone meal is actually the white coloring, to be honest, the white side, but it's called bone meal. So, I'll just say, let's get started. So, if we put the latex over here, put them on top, helium and lid lead on top you can see light balloon balloon or even white balloon like different type of colors that you want so I'll stick to the light blue one over here so we know here makes you fly and it's inside a balloon right now so I'll just get some fences and just put it out for you guys to see what can it do so when you tie the balloon onto the fence it will just fly up and if you right click on again onto the fence the balloon just fly away and will just float up and yep, we can see a cow. Actually, I'll just get this cow over here that I can just see. If you right click on them, like friendly mobs or some things, or something's kind, most of them should float just like this. What is the cow is doing over here? And the cow's a bit heavy, so it's gonna float a bit slower than a sheep over here that we're gonna try. And of course, the sheep floated up quicker. So let's come back into our uh, science equipment. Science equipment. So now we already know what you can create with a balloon. I want to show you guys another thing called underwater equipment that you can still use using the crafting table grid. So what we need over here is sodium. And sodium is made out of 11 protons 
and 11 electrons. And I believe it should be 12 neutrons. Yep, 12 neutrons will be okay. And we have, I'll just get two TNTs over here because we're going to do two type of things over here. And I'm going to get some torches. Just in case for the next equipment. And I'll just, I'll just put magnesium right now because that's for the torch that we're going to use. And these are the underwater equipments. And not all of them are using the same thing, such as this, like the TNT is using sodium and torch is actually using magnesium. Which is surprisingly useful in, if you're actually using a normal Minecraft version. So we can build underwater TNT, which is a bit different compared to the normal one. And if you put the magnesium on top of a torch, it turns to underwater torch, which is a bit different than the normal one either. Too. So, firstly, what I want over here is actually some water bucket because I know when, when we break these ice in creative mode, they just go away. And so, for normal TNT, we will know when we. I need a flint and steel. When we just lit normal TNT up on normal land, it just explodes. But. And same as the normal, the underwater TNT exo is exposed too. But the only difference is when you put the TNT inside water in normal Minecraft, just like putting the his door on top, it wouldn't make any damage to the land surrounding beside it. Still damage with the mods, mobs, or even players. But if we put the underwater TNT over here and just let his deal it, lift it up, it's gonna make damage to the surrounding lands that's beside it. Which is actually pretty cool. And for, same as the normal torch over here, we can place it over here as an underwater torch. It makes actually a glowing particle effect, which is actually pretty nice. I like it. But with the normal torch, you can't actually put it inside the water. But with the underwater torch, with the magnesium around it, you actually can make it lit underwater, which is nice. So I'll just turn, turn it times see it 1000. Times it might will be okay. So you can see it's still glowing over here because of the torches over here. So, yeah, that's pretty nice to know. And uh, the last thing I want to talk to you guys is actually the thing about the brewing stands that we can use to create different type of potions that we want. So, same thing, I want to clear my, everything on my inventory right now. I'll just get out the brewing stand. And some water bottle that we want over here. It's just nice to get it. And we need two blaze powers just in case I can't, I'm clumsy. Mm -hmm. So as uh, actually I need needle wart to create different type of potions over here. Okay. So firstly, let's build the Brewing station over here spans. It looks pretty cool over here on the, on the ground. We just need to put it down onto the ground, and now we can use the brewing stand now. So, okay, now let's come back to our. So now let's back onto our brewing stand. We can. S See, over here, I just put the blaze power on top, so yeah, it's, now it's charged over here with the brewing stand. We need, we put a water bottle on top, and usually for most of the potions that we create, we're going to put needle water on top of the water bottle to make it into an awkward potion before we do any other like things related to it. So here's going to be a time lap, and yep, yeah, it seems like it's going to be done now. Pretty fast, to be honest. This type of water bottle making it. So now I can see it's a diff it's different between awkward potion and water bottle, even though the texture might be st might still be the same. But now you can still use the water bottle on top. This time we're gonna put we're gonna make different type of potions or different type of other things that we can use using the chemical chemical addition, chemical update, chemistry chemistry lab. So. Let's come over here, let's turn it into 47 and 47 and I believe if you guys check on your periodic table, I believe most of you guys will realize that 47 proton and electron will create silver, which is AG. 
not a word. And I'll just take the S16, not enough. And yeah, I just saw it. So that's silver. And what else that we can create over here is actually give me some time. You can actually put as much as you want over here, and having the same amount. And I believe that you guys should find some things here. You can see Berkelium, pretty nice, and you can see this many layers around the electrons too. So now let's actually brew the, brew the potion now and putting the silver on top of the awkward potion, not on the normal water bottle. Because it's not going to make any difference to the water, normal water bottle because it's not going to brew. You need to make some difference to the potion before it. You can even actually use this to create different type of potions called like antidote, elixir, eye drops, and tonic, which can, which has different type of usage. And yeah, we have finished with our antidote now. And yeah, you can see like I don't know why on my computer I can't actually throw this thing out or actually drink it. But yeah, hope you guys can actually try it because. Most, I believe most of the people when they watch my video, they will say, you know, Patch, hello person, YouTuber, you need to treat, you need to turn to survival to drink it. I see this one, I'm trying to drink it. Nope, it's not going to let me to drink. I'm clicking on my right click or even left click. Q? No, it doesn't work. So, yep, I'm just going to, that's basically telling you guys that it wouldn't work on my computer. So, actually, I'll just say... Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the last part over here. I nearly forgot. Like for the material reducer, I talked I already said that you guys can break sands or even water bottles for this for this using this like equipment. And it won't work won't really actually work for some of them, such as the antidote or even some potions or even other different kind of things. And like sand of course it's natural form, so yes it can break. And it's not only like with sand, some of them even like soul, soul sand, even why they won't work on soul sand. I mean, when, I think it works on needle rack, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it works on needle rack. Sometimes it will come with this, like the question mark over here, or be, it's actually, for this mysterious element, it's actually yet to be discovered in our actual human life to understand what is this element when combining. So you can see, like, the netherrack is made out of silicon, oxygen, and merc mercury. And some question mark things over here, if we take that off. We can't put it back in, because you already broke the, you already broke the element. And in real life, it wouldn't be that easy. You'll be actually using some different type of separating techniques to actually, t actually take the elements off. So, yeah. I think that is about that's it for this video. Hope you like this video, and please like this video.